love pie face. <laughs> Did I cut myself? Try and fix those as soon as possible so that they don't turn into giant cracks. <laughs> Sausage roll, Alexis got, what was it, the vegan cheeseburger pie? Yeah, love pie face. They have, uh, they have a good range of yummy vegan stuff. Yesterday was yesterday, I got my eye on all the days ahead. Yesterday was yesterday. Got my eye on all the days ahead Heroes never stay at home Never are they all alone Heroes never stay at home Never are they all alone When it's colder, we're made for each other. In any weather, we're stronger together. Stopping for the loo. Ah, oh, could probably take this off now. Stopped in at uh they call Price Busters over there. Oh, look at my hair. And I uh, found some really cute pajamas. Alexis is trying on the new jammy pants we got. Look, she's got slots. They're so cute. And they're all fuzzy and warm. How do they feel? Very warm. Excellent. So is it a good fit? Yeah. Not too tight around the waist? Not too tight. Cool, we'll take the tag off then. Stay at home, never are they all alone. Hold me when it's colder, we're made for each other. In any weather, we're stronger together. When it's colder, we're made for each other. In any weather, we're stronger together.
By the way, I'm talking to Alexis who is holding the camera in case you're wondering out there on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, and you, it starts with, there was a name, and then you'd rhyme it. So you'd go, there was mummy, mummy, sucking on a dummy in the store. <laughs> and it was always sucking on a dummy because I can't think of anything else that rhymes with mummy. In the store, there was mummy, mummy. Sucking on a dummy in the old Scoutmaster store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I have not brought my specs with me. And, I mean, there wasn't much to rhyme with mummy and my sister's name and daddy. There's anything wrong with Alexis? I don't know. <laughs> so, I'd, maybe we brought up friends' names as well because, um, I don't know, mummy, daddy, and my sister's name would have got a bit boring after a while, I'm sure. I'd probably use the dog as well. We had a dog called Sheba. There was Sheba. Sheba. <sighs> what was Sheba doing? Um, Sheba was tucking into is there a food that rhymes with sheep <laughs> anyway that was the game and it was fun so youtube now i'm talking to you <coughs> tonight we are having very easy instant noodles with veggies because we're tired and we it got a bit dark and late and we were ready for a stop. So we've stopped a bit earlier just outside of Armadale. And it's literally a spot called the Gravel Pit. And it looks like it used to be a gravel pit, funnily enough. So that is where we have stopped for the evening. We may well go into Armadale later just to find a loo or something because there's no facilities here. It's literally... Oh, Jesus, that was close. Uh, literally just a gravel pit. I should be a bit more careful. Um, but... Did I cut myself? That was close. <laughs> that was really close. I'm going to keep my fingers out of the way now. Crikey. Glad that wasn't super sharp, because I would have been finding band-aids right this moment. <laughs> Lucky... I can't remember what I was talking about now. Oh yeah, we may stop into Armadale later if we need to find a loo. But we've got our pee bottles for now. So that will do us in the meantime. And I guess we'll decide later if we stop into Armadale. Uh, the other option aside from staying here. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't cut myself. Jeez, that would have been annoying. The other option aside from uh, the gravel pit was a showground. And we may have arrived too late anyway. I'm not sure what time they closed the gates there. So, uh, but that would have cost us 20 bucks. And we kind of went, eh, let's just have a free one. That means that we can afford to do more fun stuff. Maybe I grazed it ever so slightly. It just feels a little bit sore. But it's not bleeding. So that's good. <laughs> Don't wave it around. That makes people get dizzy. Were you nodding? Oh, you were nodding with the camera. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, darling. Now, I have a little siphon, uh, like a bulb siphon thing. 
and that I can fill up anything I want to with. Now, you probably can't see from there, but the uh, my 10 litre water container is behind there and I'm putting the uh, top of the siphon into the 10 litre container. And then the other end is potentially a little long, but I didn't want to cut it off at this point until we'd used it a few times. So now that's gonna fill up. I'll just pull that other end out when I think it's full enough. So that saves me having to drag my 10 litre water bottle out every time I need to get some water. Um, that's going to be much, much easier and already at least twice or is it three times? Twice. Twice. So at least twice now today, it uh, has saved us having to drag that bottle out, which is good because we've got other things sitting in and around it. The only time I'll have to take that out is to refill it. I have this cooking. I have areas cracked open so it's nice and safe. I've also got my carbon monoxide alarm set, so it's all good. Uh, let me see. So that's heating up there. We're going to have noodles. I've got my veggies chopped here and I didn't cut my finger, thank goodness. And um, yes, then we'll be able to eat dinner. <sighs> anyway. I'm going to pay more attention to this now because hopefully it'll be boiling soon. Alexis and I snuggled in bed. Alexis just said, can I give you a hug? And I said, yes. <laughs> so we're snuggled in bed. It's 9.18 and we're quite tired. We have our bedding all nice and set up and we've got uh, our nice, our new fuzzy pyjamas. Alexis is disappearing into the dark. <laughs> well, your your um, beanie came off. Got it? <laughs> when I mentioned this morning that I've been flat out the last couple of days, um, that I didn't film anything, I said I was mostly packing stuff, but I actually wasn't. I forgot that I made covers for the two front windows, like the front side windows, and also what's the other thing oh i made a mozzie screen for the passenger side window and i'm sure there was some other stuff i have an entire list and i ticked so many things off it <laughs> it's been very busy and now we're in bed and i'm ready to relax and uh it's quite cozy uh i checked the temperature before do you remember what it said the temperature was Zero, was it 0 0.3 or 3 zero point something? something? It was 0 something <laughs> Celsius, that is. And I'm um, pretty sure. 0 Celsius is freezing, okay? In case you don't use Celsius. It's nice and easy to remember. 100 is boiling, 0 is freezing. Very easy. <laughs> and a human body temperature is, what is it? 36.5 I think in Celsius okay so there you now have a guide okay for those of you who don't use Celsius you've got it now anyway um yeah it was, it's really quite cold outside uh we are wearing layers still of course but it's not really cold in here I mean it, it is cool it's definitely cool but with our blankets and with our layers and you know beanies and things which reminds me i should take my beanie out to make sure i have it in case i need it later it's it's cozy it's really cozy and i'm so stoked <laughs> really really stoked so yeah it's going well it's going so well so far uh the th one thing that didn't go so well today a big truck drove past us in on, on a section where it was a hundred and um that's kilometers per hour and um stones hit the windscreen and i've got two window chips now where are my fingers here they are two two chips in my window front windscreen oh so annoying so i'm gonna have to get a uh, windscreen repair kit and um a chip repair kit thingy and um try and fix those as soon as possible so that they don't turn into giant cracks because that would be bad um it gave Alexis a bit of a fright because she was sort of focusing on something else and, and then the truck went past really fast and and then there was all the wind and the bangy, bang, bang, yeah, two particularly loud ones. And it chipped the windscreen, so that is a bit of a bugger. But uh, thank goodness it's repairable, so as soon as I can I'll get a windscreen chip repair kit and... Oh, excuse me, 
try, I'll try and repair that. But now I'm in bed and I'm finally lying still so I can see if I need to adjust any of my layers before we go to sleep so I don't freeze. All right, I'm really tired, so that's it for now. So um, I'll talk to you in the morning probably. Okay, bye.